Business is hard. We've all got problems. This is my biggest problem this week. All right, before we get into it, you know the drill, guys. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications of new videos that will be coming to you soon. All right, this is my favorite. This is the one we do every week. My biggest problem, the biggest challenges of the week that have brought themselves up. And this week, I have one that is so relevant that has hit us for the first time in a while this season, and that is just horrible weather. Horrible weather. You guys are all used to this coming out of spring or coming into spring and then coming into the winter. And it's such a it's such a big part of business, you know, for our business. Weather is horrible. You know, weather can completely change the game. You might be down for a week. You might be down for days. It might throw off your schedule. It might upset your customers. There's so many things. So this week we got torn into a big landscape project. We got it, we, you know, we dug into this thing and we knew the weather was coming. So we got into it in a day, we dug it out, we got some of the base in so we'd be able to continue working on as soon as the rain blew over. But it brings up so many challenges, you know, muddy conditions, tearing up yards worse, making more cleanup out on streets and stuff from dragging it with your tracks, dragging it from whatever machinery. And like I said, this video is very, very industry related. So any construction field that works outside, um, but it can just it can just do so much, you know. So we got into this, and I thought we'd be able to maybe get on it the next day if it didn't rain the whole day. So Monday we get in, we tear it open. Tuesday, rains all day. Swamp all day long. Got like two inches of rain. Wednesday, I was like, for sure we're going to be able to get in on this thing. Everything looked like it was good. I thought we were just going to get like a flurries in the morning, and then it was going to warm up. Ended up snowing most of the day. Two days off the project. Then we circle back around and Thursday comes around. I'm like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna be able to get some time on this thing. Let's, let's get in on this thing. Let's try to get, let's, let's get our bearings back. Let's get cranking and uh, let's get ready to rock and roll and, and get this thing going. By the way, I'm off a day. This has actually started on Tuesday and it is actually Friday right now. I, th I know we're gonna be able to get back on this thing and we are able to get back on it. It's really, really muddy. Um, so all the different variables you gotta add, like putting some tarp down and boards down to walk on so you're not carrying mud in on fresh base and, and getting things going and, 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 and trying to continue that project. And we were able to continue that project. And this is just sharing like how painful weather can be and how big of a problem it can cause in a weather related field such as lawn care and landscaping and any kind of construction field we're running equipment excavation outside so with these things this thing coming up and 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 me having this hit and, and knowing that this time of year it's going to start happening all the time there's going to be bad weather it's going to get really cold it's going to freeze thaw, it's gonna rain more than, than typical. The ground's gonna be much slower to dry out than it typically would. And it's something you have to think about. So the big takeaways from this is, is don't be thinking about these first rains and being like, oh, how do I get through that and this and that. Be thinking that this is coming, it's cooling off. It is, you know, in Florida, you're, I guess you're kind of actually finally coming out of, uh, the wet season so it's a little bit different there but any of these northern states it's going to start cooling down the rain's going to start happening more frequently when the rain's in the schedule it's actually going to happen it's not going to just and go away as often and it's going to dry out slower so be looking at your schedule accordingly be looking at these jobs maybe you need to pour a bunch of manpower to one job one day before rain so you can get it opened up and then closed off where it can be worked on the next few days because the job we got started on, if we wouldn't have tore it open and got it dug open, if we would have waited till after the rain, it would have been such a swamp around the project that the machinery would have just destroyed everything. So it is very, very important to plan accordingly when this weather comes in and, and look at your workload and, and try to be adding things you can do as the weather gets worse and worse and worse. So guys, I wish you the best of luck 
with the weather that's coming, the winter that's coming. I hope you've got some ideas of how to, to blow up your snow plowing or whatever it is that you do in the winter and how to fill the books with work that can be accomplished on the way to there. So be thinking about it, be planning for it. Know that your guys, your equipment, everything is gonna hate the cold weather just as much as everybody does. So do your best to make it easy on everybody. That's not always possible. You, somebody's always upset about too hot or too cold. But do your best and keep on pushing. Guys, that's been my biggest problem this week. Like, leave a comment if it was good. Give it that thumbs up, that like. Give it a thumbs down if you hated it. Also, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can get more relevant topics on my biggest problem. I know this is more of just a challenge, you know. This isn't a huge problem, it's just a big challenge, but it could be a big problem if it slows you down enough. If you had to get a job done and you didn't plan for the rain and you just kind of were winging it. So that's why it felt so emotional and so so important to talk about today, to get everybody's mind on the right process of the wet, cold weather is on its way, even though I freaking hate it. Guys, you can also follow me on Facebook, YouTube, obviously, Snapchat and TikTok, Instagram as well. I'll talk to all of you soon. Have a good week.